Greetings YouTube, it is I, Mintactar, with part 2 of my Warriors of the Eternal Sun video. Now, to my dismay, I loaded up this game and found that my whole party was decimated. And the only living person was a wizard. And then I, I appeared and I looked and I said, "Is what's going on here? And then I, I looked over here and I saw a red dragon running after me. Where is he? He has vanished. Maybe not. There it is. There it fucking is. Look at that thing. That will fuck you up. Doesn't matter who you are. I'm gonna try and fight this thing, okay? Just for... See how many slings I can get at it before it tries to kill me! I can't even hit it! Oh, one hit! See, so these are my projectile attacks. He's gonna get a turn. But see, he's moving up, and I'm moving away. See, the, 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 the game design was just a little bit flawed at this point, because look, I've got him in an area where he obviously can't run after me. So let's just show you one of the glitches. Now, killing a red dragon by myself, because uh, the way XP works in this is it's whoever gets the final blow that gets the experience. Regardless of how much damage you did to it previously. In fact, I thought you, this was supposed to be fun and you were supposed to show people the game and how it works in the different areas. You're just showing us fighting a dragon with a slingshot. That's okay, look, she's a wizard. And she will kill this guy by herself. So it's kind of turn-based. They get a turn, we get a turn. But see, the dragon is stuck and can't do anything. Now, I'm going to show you what happens. If he gets a shot at me. Oh, see? Not only did he attack once, he attacks three times like a prick. So anyways, enough of that. We're going to load up another game. Let's just see what is here. Ah, now, now we're talking. So now I'm in a weird, weird area. So let's check out my inventory. See, I finally got a chainmail plus two, sword plus one, cure all. Did he have a cure all spell? Wow, that must be expensive. Yeah, another thing, uh, the weapons and the magical spells are seriously overpriced. Everything you can buy at the store, you can pretty much find in a dungeon. Don't quote me on that, but I think most of it can be found in dungeons. But by the time you find all the nice stuff, you know, like, who gives a shit? You're, you're already far into the game anyways. So this is entering a dungeon. And you just navigate, and as you can see, if you check out your map, it'll map out how much you've explored. The only problem with this is every time you leave, or come back, or change rooms, it all disappears. So unless you're gonna write it down or take a digital picture of it, it ain't gonna work. So when you're inside, see so you navigate like this, and if you can check your map again, you see? These places can get very big. I guess that's what makes them fun, eh? So let us go forth and see if we find any creatures. So at this point, what do I got here? Oh, my, my fighter was ninth level. I mean, this takes time, people. Uh, priest, wizard. But I'm just gonna use bows and arrows, okay? I won't show you the spells, they take too long. Wait a minute, I just came from there, no? Oh boy. This is me getting lost again. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go this way. What's this? Okay. This is a secret passage? It is a secret passage. To what? I don't know. Nor shall see. It's really... Oh, see there's creatures here. So I preemptively start attacking. They're going to move out of the way. And they're going to keep moving. So the trick is... Keep shooting long distance attacks when they come in front of you. Sometimes they run away. And then you use short range when they're right in front of you. 
saying you keep running back just so you can get as many hits as possible. Because when they start hitting, they really hit hard. I mean, you gotta have a really good AC, you know? Because it's very easy to die in this game. Because when you're gonna be at like low levels and trying to go in these places, you're gonna start playing very conservatively. So they gain experience, you won't ever hear from them unless they raise level, they do this shout of sorts. So then, you know, it's basically this, you know, uh, fight, you gain experience, you find treasures, and they were pretty clever some of the places you can actually go and visit.